uh, wow, we've got a bunch of new members, and uh, that's because of Wes from Sasquatch Chronicles, and uh, I really appreciate him giving us the opportunity, or me the opportunity to come on and talk about some of our evidence and show the video and everything. Um, I know he doesn't have a lot of researchers on there, and uh, I'm very appreciative of having the opportunity. Seeing how we have so many new members, um, I've been looking at some of our older evidence, and uh, I think a little over a year ago now, I captured a video in the wildlife management area that's right behind my property. And basically the story behind it is uh, I was trying to find the most southern border that I'd never been to of that particular area because it was the closest spot to my property. Now there's private property between me and it. That's why I haven't been to that particular spot. So I'd never been to this particular area before. Middle of the day, beautiful day, uh, walking down the road. I was actually doing a live. Um, I was showing video of you know, some of the uh, clear cutting that was being done and you know, just simple things. I wasn't really, I wasn't even really looking for evidence that day. And I definitely was not recording behind myself. Now usually I make it a habit of doing that, but that day that's not what I was focused on. For whatever reason, on one stretch of road, I decided to film behind myself. And I honestly can't even tell you why I did it. I couldn't even remember where I was at when I did do it. Uh, it took me three months, almost three months, to actually find this exact spot in the road again. And uh, the reason why that's important, because I took the video behind me, got home that day, uh, reviewed that, I think it was 55 second long video. Reviewed the video, I didn't see anything. The next day, I was looking at the video and uh, there's something huge crossing the road behind me. And it actually looks like something really big and then possibly two smaller subjects um, actually one looks like it comes down out of a tree the large one is uh, it's on all fours there's only two things it is uh, it's either a Sasquatch or a huge human being I went back and did uh, comparison photos of me in the same exact spot you can see the size difference it's all one color uh, this is not the, the Patterson Gimlin film. Uh, you can't see any detail. It's at 175 yards. I know that because I shot the distance when I did the comparison videos with an iPhone. So you're not going to get any detail. I had a lot of other interactions in that same part of the road after that. Uh, I had something very large jump out of a tree after stopping to look at a rock, a rock stack that showed up after I passed that part of the road. It was on the day I was doing the comparison videos. I went out there one day, I found the spot, I came out there again, I went to go, walked up the road, uh, set up the camera, walked down, did a bunch of comparison shots, got my gear together, and went to leave. And about 200 yards away from where I was doing all this, I got to a spot in the road where there was a brand new rock stack sitting there. It's about five or six big rocks, one on top of the other. I stopped to look at it and to get it on, on video, I hadn't even got my camera. Luckily, I had it, uh, my phone recording, but it was stuck down in my pack in the front, mainly for audio. And right when I stop to uh, check out this rock stack, something huge in the wood line jumps out of the tree, hits the ground, and runs away. Uh, I've had a couple other things stick thrown in that same spot back in that wood line on another day when it was raining. I had it thrown right in front of me. Anyway, it wasn't the only, besides all the stuff that's happened here, I've had stuff happen there, find a bunch of evidence, uh, asterisks, uh, bones, prints, you know, the whole nine yards. So I know they're there. Uh, judge for yourself. Like I said, it's not the Patterson film, but I did comparison videos. It's huge. 
It's obviously moving. It's right in the middle of the road. And uh, like I said, it's either a couple really big people or it's a Sasquatch. Um, it's definitely not a bear. There's no bear in this area. Not to say one could not come in this area. Uh, we're not that far away. Some of them can wander down this way. It's not a bear. Not from what I see. Um, but you be the judge. But I'll zoom in and show everything again. All right, I'm just going to play the video from beginning to end. And I'll give you a hint. I'll look over my right shoulder all the way down to the end of the road as far as you can see right when the video starts And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go back. That big brown blob right in the middle of the road. Look on the right. Well, look on the left. It looks like one standing up. The big blob in the middle. I think that's one big one. On the right side of the screen, watch that. That's a leg or an arm. Watch that bend. See it straighten out. Look at that thing. Now obviously you can't see any detail, but that thing is huge. Now I do think there's a couple of them, at least two. That's a good shot. To me, it looks like his head is on the right. You're seeing his right side of his body. Uh, right leg extended behind him, left leg underneath him, and one of his arms sticking out in the, uh, like an ape, like a knuckle walk position. That's what it looks like to me. Can I prove that's what this is? No, I cannot. Looks like it's going back to the side of the road it came from.
again. Looks like a gorilla with his arms stuck out in front of him. Bears don't have legs like that. That's pretty much it.